Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is the double aster block. It's 10 inches finished. Here is the diagram and it looks hard but it's very easy. There's a lot of steps but they're easy, easy steps. Here are four blocks put together. We have a total of five patches here. Patch A is a two inch finished square. We'll cut two and a half inch squares. We need five patches of the background fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use to get this two inch finished square. Patch B is a two inch finished half square triangle. We cut squares two and seven eighth inches. Then we cut them in half once diagonally to get two patches. You have the option of these, some of these are half square triangles and some are just patches. So you have the option to do, to make half square triangles two at a time or just use the patches. And I'll show you that later. So for the background fabric, you need eight patches or four patches plus two squares. Some of the places we just use the little triangle or patch. And for the dark fabric, we need four patches or two squares. Here are the AccuQuilt dies to cut the patches. Patch C is a two inch finished quarter square triangle. We cut three and a quarter inch squares, cut them in half diagonally twice, and you'll get four patches. You need four patches for the background and four patches for the dark fabric. So that means you just cut one square and cut it on the diagonal twice. Here is the AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut this patch. Patch D is a four inch finished quarter square triangle. You cut five and a quarter inch squares, cut those in half twice diagonally to get four patches. And four patches are what you need of this dark gray fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut these patches. And finally, patch C is a four inch finished half square triangle. We cut a square at four and seven eighth inches cut it in half diagonally once for two patches. You'll need four patches of the red fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut these sizes. Since you need four patches, you'll need to cut two squares at four and seven eighth inches and cut each in half on the diagonal. Then you'll have your four patches. Here are our patches and our fabric. This is the background and patch A, the squares. This is patch B. It's the background and the dark fabric. We are going to make, out of the two squares of each fabric, we'll make four total half square triangles. And then we need these patches to fill in as we're piecing the other pieces. This is patch C. It is the two inch finished quarter square triangle. We have the background and the dark fabric. And we do need patches for this. Here are, is patch D, and it's the medium-sized triangle, or quarter-square triangle. We have four of those. And here is patch E, and it's the large half-square triangle. Page two has the instructions for piecing this. And you see there are eight steps, but they're all easy. The first step, we'll take the C patches and stitch them together like this, and we'll have four. Step two, we're going to add patch B to the unit you just made. Step three, you're going to add the D patch to the unit you just made. So these are building up. Then step four, we're going to make this unit. And we're still not finished with the unit. Then we're going to make the half square triangles and this unit with the half square triangles. Then finally, we'll sew the units from that step to the units from step four and get this unit. We'll have four units like this. And then the only thing we have left after we have these four units is this square in the center. And two days ago, we did the flying square block and it was sewn with partial seams. And we're going to do partial seams with this one as well. I'm going to do step one and step two. Step one, we're going to take the C units, sew them together. Then we're going to take the B unit and sew it to that. Lay them out just like the picture and we'll sew these together like this. 
this line right here, flip this over, match all three sides, and sew this line. Then press your seams open. With most of these steps, you'll need to cut off the nubs from your pieces you just stitched, like that. Now for step two, we're going to place the unit just like it's shown in the picture. Then we're going to take patch B and place it exactly like the picture as well. So here's the picture and here's the patch. We'll fold this over, match all three sides, and stitch a quarter of an inch down this edge here. And do that for all four of these. Step two is done and I cut off my nubs. Now step three, I'm going to place my pieces just like in the diagram, like this. Then take patch D and put it like this. Most of these I cut with the rotary cutter, but this patch D I cut with the AccuQuilt because my fabric was a bit wonky and I wasn't able to get a big square out of it unless I used the AccuQuilt. So my little point is cut off here. You line up this edge here like that and then stitch your quarter of an inch on this side. For step four, I'm placing this piece just like as in the picture and then we're going to sew patch E to this part here. Flip it over, match all three sides, and stitch a quarter of an inch this way. Press the seams open. Once all of the units from step four are done, we're going to put them to the side and grab our patch B's, our squares from B, and we're going to make four half square triangles. If you're not familiar with the two at a time method, here's a short tutorial that tells you how to do it. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn, and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. When the half square triangles are done, you'll have four. You're going to take one of the half square triangles and sew a background A patch to each one, just like this. Sew together like that and press the seams open. Then you'll have this. You'll have four of these. Then we'll take this unit and sew it to the unit from step four, like this. Press your seams open, and this is what you'll have. You will have four of these when you're finished. Now we have our four units that we made, and we have our patch A left. We'll put the block together like this. We'll start with one of these units and put the patch A here. Take the next unit and rotate it slightly and put it here, and then do the same thing all the way around. This is what the block will look like. But to get there, we need to use partial seams when we first sew our first stitch. So I'm going to move these out of the way. This is what we're going to do first. I'm going to flip this over, and then I'm going to get close in here to show you. What we're going to do is stitch this seam here, but we're going to stop a quarter of an inch away from this edge. And to mark it, I use my Deluxe Corner Trimmer from Marty Michelle, and I'm lining up these two edges here and here on the, the A patch that's there. Then I'll take my pencil and just mark a, lot, a dot right there, right there. So when I stitch, I'll start here. Let me turn it around. This is what you'll be looking at when you're stitching. Start here, quarter of an inch, and stop here where that marking is. You leave this quarter of an inch open. And what I like to do here is take a few back stitches because we're going to be playing with this and I don't want some stitches to come out. 
So stitch, stop, and do a few back stitches. Here is a really close up. Here's the stitching and there's where I stopped and did my few back stitches. Now we're not going to press this seam open, but we are, we are going to just finger press this top part here, the edge here. Flip this over. Now you see that this unit will fit exactly right here. It's the same size here. And just flip this over and stitch that together. And be careful that you have two places here that you want to keep your points pretty, here and here. So you might want to mark those with the pen. Here's what we have so far. I've pressed this seam open. Next we'll attach this one the same way. For the last unit, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold this over, but we have this little problem here. So let me just flip this over this way. You'll want to take this and move it out of the way. And I like to fold this at an angle away from the rest of the piece here. This is what I'm sewing to the, this piece on top. And just put a pin here to keep it out of the way while you're sewing. And then just sew this edge the same way. Let me flip it over and show you. So it's this edge right here. Okay, we just folded this out of the way so we wouldn't stitch on it. All right, I've sewed this one here and I took the pin out. So we have this little flap that needs to be sewed. I'm going to flip this over like that and turn it. Here's where that partial seam was sewn and where we stopped and back stitched. Now we can just grab this one from the bottom and sew it from this stitch all the way to the edge. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.